Welcome to a brand new episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar, and we're about to jump into episode four, I believe it's four. Mm. And it's not a Sunday morning, don't worry, I'm not drinking on a Sunday morning. I'm actually recording this on a Saturday evening. I've got time, so I thought, why not? Why not play a game? It's kind of itching, because there's so many things I still want to do. There we go, into Chandelar. Let's have a look. So, um, remember I won that Force of Nature, which I obviously put in my deck, so I can't wait to start playing with that. Uh, but before we go into the action first, a quick word from our sponsor, 341 Trading. 341 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and we are back. So let's jump in and shall we load the saved game. Timmy goes green. So uh, like I said, I've tweaked the deck a little. So I've put in the Ice Storm. I'm also playing with, where is that Gay? Where is that Force of Nature? I mean, Force of Nature and of course Gay's Leech. The problem is, I mean, the deck's full of expensive cards, so I'm hoping to work towards a 60 card deck, uh, you know, maybe find some Wild Groves, maybe a Mana Flare, uh, more Llanowar Elves, obviously, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. And at the same time, I'm going to try to get the World Magics, focusing on this Sword, right, that's connected to the White Mage. That'll be really important to get, because uh, with the Sword, you can transport to cities that are under attack, which is quite important, right? Because if the wizards control too many cities, you're out, the game stops, I've lost. So got to think about that. At the same time, hopefully I'll be able to pick up some more mana links, you know, just the usual. So let's have a go. Okay, so travel east to Windless Steading. Let's have a look where that is. Oh, that's pretty, you know what? I'll go to Windless Steading and uh, pick up that world magic. Get away from me, you. Trade black amulets for any creatures. Okay, so maybe I can get an extra land well. Let's have a look. Green. Mm. Yes, I'll trade. Okay, perfect. I mean, Lana Rail is just such a good card. Uh, but what to take out? That's a difficult question here. Um, mm -hmm. I'll take out a clay statue? Question mark? No, carnivorous plant. I think I'm going to do that. Begin a quest. I will reward you with any creatures if I defeat the Lord of Fate. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. Maybe I can get a Sheevan Dragon. That'll be quite cool. Lord of Fate. Okay, so we got to beat a Lord of Fate. Hey, there's the Lord of Fate. Okay, so Dark Ritual. I can change the anti-card now, which is nice. Um, Bolt. Let's change the anti-card. Carnivorous Plant. Yeah, you can have that for sure. Duel the Lord. Okay. I'm also eating chips, by the way. Like, it's a little party here. I'm going to throw a little noise. Mm. All right. Fort of Nature, Aladdin's Ring, Clay Statue, Battering Ram, Hill Giant, and Two Mountains. Like, this is, this is really bad. God. I need Dual Lands. That's what I need Dual Lands. Hey, at least a forest. Um, but I'm not going to play it out just yet. I'm going to go for Battering Ram. Mountain Battering Ram. Ah, best turn. And I had that weird glitch last week, so I'm just going to save a little bit more during the episode here. Ooh, Dredge Skeletons, they've got uh, Regeneration. Okay, more mana, which is good, I guess, because my hand's full of expensive spells. Let's attack with the Ram, see if he blocks. He doesn't block, okay. 
So next turn, I can play Hill Joint or the Clay Statue. Both is fine. Mm. Ooh, this is good. This is a problem. He's got a 3-2 Regenerator. It's just huge. Um... I'm gonna play Hill Giant because I don't have the mana to regenerate the clay statue anyway, so. Maybe I should have done the clay the next turn, keep mana open to regenerate when he attacks with the drudge. I, I don't know. Oh pestilence. Uh, this is this is not going uh, great. Um how is this working? I'm banding one attacking. Okay, so I'm gonna band. I'm just gonna be aggressive here. Whatever. Um, problem is I can play Clay Statue, but it's really easy for him to kill Clay Statue. Hmm. I think I'm gonna wait, because next turn I've got enough mana to play the statue out and regenerate it. I think it's better. I mean, it's, it's not great, obviously. Yeah, so he's taking a lot of damage and he's killing a creature. I'm on six now. Oh, this is bad. Pestilence. Pestilence is a good card. I mean, you don't see it often in old school, but it's a good card. Um, Please, you. I'm just not going to attack. There's nothing I can do. I mean, he can kill me just with the Pestilence if he's patient. Which I hope he's not, but... Oh god, yeah, now I gotta regenerate. Yeah, this is really bad. He's gonna attack. Gonna lose my hill giant. Wow, a castle. Castle and pestilence. That is old school stuff, man. I love that. That's actually a forgotten combo. I gotta write it down somewhere. Okay, I'll just, I'll try to remember. Don't have a pen and paper here at the moment. Um, forest. Hey, I can play Force of Nature. Maybe, maybe that's my best bet. Just play Force of Nature and whatever. I mean, if I go down, I'd rather just go down with the Force and play than without one. It's, a, it's as simple as that. If I lose, I lose. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I've got beer, I've got chips. I mean, I don't like spine, I can lose a game. Oh wow, animate on my um, clay. Okay, okay man. Um, whatever. So I'm in a really, I'm in a, in case you haven't noticed, I'm in a really bad spot. Um, yeah, of course I gotta pay upkeep. Don't pay or pay. Of course I'm gonna pay or else I'm dead. Mm, the dwarf. Let's attack. You know, let's see what he does. Four life. I've got two blockers. I mean, of course he can he can kill me, but hopefully he doesn't know how to or... Oh man, look at this. Oh, he's attacking. That is unfortunate. Um, I'm dead. Doesn't matter what I do. Lost my plant! Dang it, let's, let's go back and put another card in. Let's go back and put I think I still have a plant, right? So I can just put a plant back in. I don't. I don't have another plan. Okay, I'll put in a wall of ice. Basically the same. Same thing. Not as good, but... Um, leave the village. Oh, and wait. I gotta save it. I'm learning my lesson. Let's find the Lord of Faith again. No, I was walking to the ship. What's this? Um, change ante? For a boars, I'll do it for a boars. Oh man, I still gotta beat the Lord of Fate. That's gonna be tough. Forest Mountain, Fireball Mountain, Warriors Mountain, Forest. Okay. 
Every time I see my opening hand, I'm reminded to the fact that my deck is still, like, really bad. Mm, mountain, Lanora Elves. Pass a turn. All I can do here is just pass a turn. Yeah, let me let me write that. What was that combo again? Uh oh, it's he's thinking really long. Mm -hmm. Fast effects to scarf face. Another lot of rails. Okay. Um. Do I want to deal a point of damage or cast an extra Lanover? I think I'm just going to cast the extra Lanover. Yeah. Go Dwarven Warriors and Lanover Elves. My pass is a turn. Oh yeah, C Castle Pestilence. That was it. Let me write it down. Castle Pestilence. Castle plus Pestilence. In case you're not aware, on the channel of Timmy Talks, I have once a week, I have a Timmy Talk Shorts, uh, which is just a one minute episode about, you know, basically card combos or card synergy, whatever you want to call it, in, in old school magic. So whenever I have, I see two cards working together, I try to write it down somewhere. Um, anyway, let's see, he's not doing anything or she's not doing anything, which is good. I'm just going to attack for three. Why not? Go weenie army. And I'm going to cast a clay statue. Which has horrible synergy with Dwarven Warriors. But hey, who cares? Yeah. I find Unsummon a good card, by the way. Very good card. Again, one of those cards that's underplayed. I should make a whole list. I should make a top 10 underplayed cards. Maybe you can let me know in the comments what, what is your most underplayed card, in your opinion. Um... Okay, I could kill the fight. I think it should do that. I think it should be really aggressive here. Um, I just want to do four mana. Done. Good, okay. Then we're going to attack. I think this was a good move. Yes, I could have waited and maybe dealt damage to, to her directly, but... I mean, the ship is regeneration, she didn't have the mana open, this was just too tempting to do it now, and, you know, I can start deploying my bigger creatures next turn, the boars, the clay statue. And let's go forest. Um, you know what, I'm going to attack with these two. I want to keep my dwarf, dwarf alive. Ooh, she is trading. Ah, she's pretty low, of course. So Dirkwood, um, pass. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, I'm gonna attack with everything. Hey, winning it. Uh, I'm gonna take the dungeon clue, actually, this time. The Ruins of Suchan. Ooh, I wanna go to the Ruins. If my deck's good enough, we're going to the ruins. But I first need need to pick up a few more cards, I feel. Hey, I want a blue amulet. Okay, that's good. But where is my Lord of Fates? Speak to the wise man. The people applaud your brave struggle to free Shandalar from the wizards. To assist you, I shall strengthen you with two more lives. And we've got a hint, if you combine Merc Dwellers with Dwarven Warriors, yes, that is a cool combo, because then it gets 4-2 if it's unlocked with this dude, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's also a zombie now, so you can play it in your zombie decks. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> so travel north for the Tomb of Enlightenment, which I don't really know, want. Oh, I see Lord of Faith. No, I want Lord of Faith. Yeah, Lord of Faith, baby. Um, change anti Lanor Elves. Uh, I don't want to lose the Lanor, but I do want to fight you. Don't want to lose the Lanor, no. <sighs> okay. At least he's got Pestilence Anti, so maybe I'm not seeing that card. Bettering Ram? This is not too bad. Bettering Ram, War Mammoth, Dirkwood Boars. So, I got a turn two play. I got enough lands in my hand. I've got 
both colored mana that I have in my deck. I'm happy with this. You know, this is not too shabby. I'm starting on 15 because I got the bones in the lives. Looks good. Um, let's go forest. Bettering Ram. Next turn I can play Ice Storm. Kind of to slow him down. I remember the first time, you know, when I was a little Tim and somebody explained to me the tempo play, that destroying a land is a tempo play, you know. Wow, that's so interesting to look at magic that way. <laughs> that was completely new for me, new strategy. Um, okay, so forest, let's make our tempo play. Ice Storm. I'm just going to go for the swamp. I'm, 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 a little, I'm more scared for his black stuff than his white stuff, even though white has, you know, the good removal, but... I'm worried about another Pestilence or those Regeneration creatures, which are really good in the Chandelar. Ooh, he's taking the time. Okay, uh, let me drop a Mountain and then I can do War Mountain. But let's first attack. Let's be a pro, let's first attack. Okay, he's doing nothing. Let's cast our War Mammoth. Pass the turn. 3-3 three, three Trampler, baby. I need to get some Giant Gross with the War Mammoth. That's always really fun. Like 6-6 six, six Trample. Berserk on top of it. It's really great. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, Sir Angel. Man, that's good. Ooh, what I can do now. This is fun. I can go War Mammoth banded with the Battering Ram. Oh, I love banding. I think it's so good. Look at it. He's not even blocking. And, and that's a good decision. If he blocks, I can put all the damage on my Battering Ram or War Mammoth, one or the other. But I can also kill the Sarah, you know, so it's ideal. I lose one creature and he loses the Sarah. It's, it's a really good trade. It's a win-win. I wonder if next turn when I attack with the Dirkwood, if he's going to... Ooh, this is not great. Oh, all my hopes and dreams. Oh, I'm on 10 now. I'm on a two-turn clock. This holy strength kind of ruined my entire position. Mm. I need to be aggressive here. If I'm not aggressive, I'm going to die for sure. The question is how to be aggressive. I could go Dirkwood alone, War Mammoth with the Battering Ram. That's probably the best bet. That's probably the best. And yes, he's going to kill one of my creatures, but I have to be exactly, put him on 10. It's it's something. Next turn, I can do the same, basically. Uh, but uh, yeah, probably going to die. But Oh, man, Divine Transformation. Don't you find, by the way, that this card should really give a creature flying as well? Again, the card would have been too good. I know they gave that ability to blue with flight and jump, but I mean, look at the, the art. She's got wings. She's got to fly. Sorry. Anyway, it's just a frustrating thing because I really love the art on the card and I do play it sometimes because it's just so beautiful, but it's just not really good. At least in Chandler it's good, but not outside of Chandler. Um, dang, man. This is, this is, this is so, I'm not happy. I'm not, I was feeling really confident. Oh, I'm just gonna lose. What am I gonna lose again? Oh, wrong oh, L. Oh. Mm. I need more beer, man. This episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. You animate. Yeah, of course. Animate my stuff. I'm already dying. Oh, this is bad news. Bad news. Speak to the wise man. I see that the people of Unicorn's Haven have asked you to... Okay. That's annoying, that glitch, right? That I cannot see the, the end of that message. Um, is there anything in my deck that, like, works really good against that dude? Um, Island of Wak Wak. At least stops the flyer. Okay, I'm gonna go Island of Wak Wak. Why not? Okay. Why is he 
food. Find the Lord of Faith. I don't want to play against exactly this play against. No, I don't want to do Gaze Leech. Change. Another Lunarware Elves? Man, you're eating away all my elves. Stop doing that. Okay. At least I get to play first. Start the duel. Oh, look at this hand. Oh, man. <laughs> my deck is just not good. Oh. There's this saying, right, if, that, it's, that, that, it's, that you're really stupid if you keep doing the same thing and expect a different outcome, which is basically what I'm doing, you know. Um, maybe it's just too good. Maybe I'm just not there yet. Maybe I don't have the cards yet to defeat the, the Lord of Fate. Oh, man. But it's annoying. This is my strategy. I'm gonna hide behind the wall of ice until turn eight, and I'm gonna play Aladdin's ring. That's that's all I'm doing. I don't care. I don't care, Lord of Faith. I've chosen my path. I'm confident. It's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna work. Yeah, man, I can block your Yoshi soldier for days. No problem. Yep, another another land. It's exactly what I want. Exactly what I was looking for. Another land. It's great. Awesome. No flyer, please. No flyer. And no pestilence. Forest. Three more turns and I can cast a light and swing. Three more turns, baby. Life is good. Well, I finally, oh no, she again. Yeah, I mean my deck, I mean, if he wouldn't play Sarah Angel, I could maybe, you know, survive, but I need Cockatrice, that's what I need. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so frustrating, guys. Oh, I'm gonna lose again. That's the third time I've lost against the Lord of Fates. I really have to, like, look at my deck again, and, um, yeah. <laughs> and then I was on five. But, I can finally play him in Aladdin's ring. Okay, so there is hope. It's tiny, but there's hope. She's gonna put me on one. Bring it on. So I've gotta wait until next turn that she attacks with the angel, because then the castle bonus drops, and I can use my Aladdin's ring. So we're gonna do nothing. We're just gonna pretend like, hey, I'm on one, you're gonna kill me, it's fine, it's fine. And then we use the ring. This is gonna be fun, guys. <laughs> oh, she's coming. She's coming. No, Helix Elf. Oh, God. No. Okay, good play, good play. Healing Soul School card. I get it. No, I don't want to play against the skeletons. They're horrible. Okay, let's let's go back to the to the town. Talk to the old man. Maybe he's got some tips for us. Men of stones are shit from precious gems. Well, thank you. I need like the life bonus or something. Oh, this, is, this is not. Good. Oh, let's buy. This is a good. This is a good one. Let's buy a soldier. The ocean soldier is good. I'm gonna play bottle. Um, I 
I got two of these? Why don't I play them? Why? Um, let's take out a stupid wall of ice. I love the art, by the way, and it used to be one of my favorite cards as a kid, but in here, it's not working. Take out the bottle again, because the bottle's costing me five. Okay, got 41 cards. We're gonna just, I'm just gonna keep trying, guys. I'm not gonna give up. Lord of Fates, meet your doom. Fireball, okay, yeah. If you win this, you take my fire. He's already taken two Lunar Elves and another card that I forgot. Was that Carn Carnivorous Plant, I think? And now he wants to take my Fireball as well. This is an evil Lord of Fates. Oh, I really need to win this. Okay, Yoshin Soldier, Forest, Mountain, Ice Storm, Sylvan, Island, Force of Nature. I mean, I don't need a force of nature in my opener. No, thank you. Um, but this hand is looking decent because of Island of Vakvak to protect me from Sarah Angel. I've got N Ocean Soldier and Ice Storm as turn three plays. Oh, and look at this. I've got a turn two play like a real professional. Yeah, man, this is what I do. This is what I do. I play a magic game from the 90s in my weekends. How cool am I? <laughs> How cool am I? <laughs> Um, and I'm almost 40. Mm. Yoshin, coming aboard. So I can play a Yoshin, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the one damage and I'm going to destroy the planes. Because I'm scared of Sarah Angel. I'm just going to admit it. I'm scared of Sarah. Even with the Island of Buck in hand, I'm scared of the Sarah. So I'm just going to... Oh god, this is so... This, these holy strikes are so annoying. It is cool to see that they're kind of playable in this format. You know, it's, I, I do I do love that, but... Uh, let's go Yoshin. I, by the way, I still play formats where you can use enchant creatures. Like, this is my uh, Unsleep Revised deck. One, one of the many, I've got more, but it's, it's really fun. And in here I play um, Fire Breathing, for example. Which is which is quite nice. I'll put I'll put a link in the uh, in the show notes if you want to see some of the matches with the uh, unsleeved. Uh, but anyway, getting off to topics, so I've, I've cast Yoshin Soldier to block the Yoshin Soldier. No, not again! That's like I'm walking in circles. Can we stop killing me? I mean, do you really constantly have to kill me? Oh God. This is so bad. This is so bad. Um, I don't even have a good attack. Uh, <laughs> I'm an emotional eater. Alright, come on. Mm, okay, forest. I gotta do Sylvan and hope that I can find something. I guess I could have attacked with both, deal some damage, right? Probably should have done that. Then again, he could block and then pump some in his pestilence, I guess. Uh, okay, forest. I'm gonna attack. I forgot the Sylvan, by the way. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to play Force of Nature. I think this Force is my only road, out, like, potential outcome. And I think the Lord of Faith needs to make some, like, stupid mistakes with the Pestilence. You know, I don't know. I don't think he's going to do so, though, because he's been playing it quite well. I'm on 5. He's on 13. Man, I didn't expect it to be so tough, man, this episode. I'm on, I'm on three. I pay the cost, of course. Use the Sylvan. No, I gotta put it back. There's nothing I can do. Uh, put it back. Uh, put it back. 
Drawing the Aladdin's ring, which is, I can't, I shouldn't have taken that, by the way, because I can't even cast it. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to attack with everything. Ooh, now it gets interesting. Oh, he can kill me next turn. Dang it. I'm so close. Like, he's on four. Oh, it's so annoying. Mm -hmm. I'm getting, I'm, my salty level is like rising. Mm. <sighs> the people are disappointed you could manage no better than a draw against a slimy lord of fate. Was it a draw? Did I have a draw? Oh, that's actually, that's unexpected outcome. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to pay to go. Okay, I'm going to duel you. Mind control? Does it mean that you're not playing with my deck? Mind control? Well, I have fun with my deck. It's really bad. <laughs> oh, no, you've taken over my deck. It's like really bad. Have fun. Um, Face at you, Gaze Leech, Bettering Ram, Yoshin Soldier, and a bunch of land. Okay. This is not too bad. Like I can, I can, I can this, I can, I can do something with this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to say, I'm liking the battery ram. It's really like nice on curve in my deck, and I it's just like the the banding ability. Um, let's go forest. I'm gonna play Yoshin. I'm not gonna trade, man. I wanna keep my veteran around. Because I'm gonna ban it with the soldier next turn. I'm gonna come in for two. Yeah. Um let's let's first attack, shall we? Oh, he's got the same situation. This is so annoying, the mind control. Okay, that attack was pretty useless. Clay statue. Um. Man, is it worthwhile to... He cannot regenerate. That is true. So I think I should attack. This with this. And the banding can only happen, of course, when the battering ram attacks. So not in defense. So maybe that's the way banding should have worked. That you can only use it in offense. I mean, I think that would have been... You know, you, you kind of want to incentivize players to attack. I feel. I feel like in the in the in the old game, especially in like sets like Fallen Empire, attacking doesn't really pay off, right? In those older sets, and it should. I think. I think it should. So it would be interesting to say, you know, banding only works when you attack, just like like how the battering ram works. It's pretty good design, actually. In my humble opinion. Hmm. My beard is very flat. Clay statue. Forest. Uh, oh, I can cast Gaius Leech. Oh, I love it. Gaius Leech. But first I'm going to attack. Because I'm a professional. Um, he is on eight. Let's attack. Mm, let's do it on that one. Wonder what he's gonna block. Okay, that's funny. Um, one point left, and then I do want to regenerate. I guess. Yeah. Four points. One. Or should I have killed the Yosh? No, I think the clay statue is better. Okay, 
he's on seven. Mm, I've lost my Dirk with Boris, though. Ah, oh, well, it happens. It happens. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's only six mana to gas. I thought the gas leech was more expensive. Should I attack again? I mean, if I go with Clay Statue with the bands, I could do that. Then he can block it on just a soldier, and then I lose my battering ram. But I, I, I think that's okay. I think I can live with that. I'm gonna do it. I'm being aggressive. Exactly. So he's gonna put it on the ram. The ram's gonna. I mean, it, it, it had its day. You know, it's done a lot of work, and now it's time to say goodbye. I, I exchanged it for a clay statue. I think that's reasonable. Right. I think that's good. Oh, and of course, my leech is a 3-3 three, three now if I attack. Because when you attack with the leech, it gets power toughness equal to the amount of force to your opponent controls, which is my deck, basically, or three force on that side. Um, yeah, but you know what? I'm going to turn a mountain, I think, into something. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Select a land. Yeah, I'm going to select a mountain. Play a giant spider. I need one more mana for the Aladdin's ring, you know, then 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 it's gonna be mayhem. But I I mean I used to in the past I used to sometimes you know draw into a, a Lana or Elves, but they're all taken by the Lord of Faith. Oh he's got a gas leech now as well. It's gas leech battle. I went the Vakwa because she would have taken that out. Well how big is that dude? Five five. Okay, that's bad. Um, I am going to turn this into a forest and then I'm going to pass the turn. I think my only way to win this is casting Aladdin's lamp. So I just need one more land. I mean, that could be a way out. Mm -mm -mm. plan. Ooh. I think I'm going to attack with the leech because he's got two for six greens. It's a six, six. And if he's going to like double, triple, whatever block, I've got that lightning bolt. Exactly. Mm, do I want to use the, yes, I want to use the bolt. What way? Why does it still die? Oh God. Did I, did I time the bolt wrong? I mean, he declares blockers before damage is dealt. I can play the bolt. Okay, now I'm probably gonna lose. Which is nice in the line of this episode, you know. I think I've only won once, right? Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I wish he would turn my Island of Vakwak in a forest, because then I can play Aladdin's Ring. Okay, or yeah, okay, so I can still, I, there's still, there's still some, some silver lining somewhere. I can still get something out of this game. Um, I can start using my ring. <laughs> the silver. Which I think, by the way, that Sylvan is not great in this format. Okay, so I can play Warriors. To make my Spider, for example, unblockable, deal some damage. But I think I should just pass turn. And I'm going to use the Ring on that step of my opponent's turn. Because I want to keep mana open to regenerate the Clay Statue. Sure, man, go with the Sylvan. Do your thing. Ooh, it's going to go to three? Really? Then I can kill you. Let's do something in response, shall we? I think I've won. Hey, I've won! Yay! I'm gonna take the dungeon clue. Take the clue. Okay, so more tips of this one. Okay. Ooh, I get extra life in my next duel. Let's 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 save, shall we? Let's save. Timmy goes green, we're gonna save. Gotta find the Lord of Faith again. 
I only have two more days to beat that dude. Lord of Faith, where are you, Lord of Faith? Is that Lord of Faith? Here, Lord of Faith. Yes. Duel. Okay, guys, this is this is number. This is where it's episode four, and this is also the fourth time that I'm battling against the Lord of Faith. It has to happen now. I won the toss. Feeling good. Let's take some more chips. I'm good. Okay. Um. Oh wow. Look at my hand. Oh god. At least I got enough land. My deck is my deck. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, deck. I love you, man. I love the cards, but yeah. Oh, I'm so scared. I know what's going to happen. Turn five, Sarah Angel. Oh, man. This is, it's so incredibly slow, my deck. I really need to, to just change it. Oh god, 13. So next turn I can play, finally play something. Oh no, god. Oh, and now I draw the mammoth. Now I draw the mammoth. God, I'm gonna get killed again. I can't believe this. die next turn. Doesn't matter anymore what I do. Doesn't matter. So now at least he hasn't played a Sarah. That's something. But I'm um, still killing me. God. What is up with this Lord of Faith? Like seriously. Hey, plus two life. Crusader attacking the steading. Um, okay. I'm gonna just attack this dude one more time. If I if I lose for the fifth time, I'm gonna leave you alone, Lord of Faith. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to protect the village at some point. Lord of Faith has what? Black, he's gonna start with the Black Knight? I already, he kicks my ass without having a 2 2 first striker turn zero. <sighs> Make season two of Chandelar. It's gonna be fun, they said. Okay, oh, I got a bolt. Okay, that's something. Okay, that's something. Okay, this is great. This is great. At least now I got value. No, not again the healing soul. Not again. Oh, man. They just call... They, uh. It's just a game. It's just a game. <clears throat> oh, my God. Okay, God. This is an this is an absolute slaughterhouse. Like I've, I've I can't remember the last time that I've lost so many matches in Chandler. I, just, I can't can't remember. And I've lost a lot in Chandler, but this many matches, it's amazing. <sighs> yep, no, of course, sure, man, do it, go for it. I have to say, I do like the deck of the Lord of Faith. It sounds weird because he's kick, kicking my ass, so he should be upset, but I like his deck. It's got a... Uh, I like it. It's got character. Oh, God. Does, it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter what I do against you, Lord of Faith. 
Look at that. More Lord of Faiths are coming. They're like, okay, we now know that we can beat you. I'll duel again. I'll, let's go for number six. Play first. Please. Okay, I've got Lonover turn one, and I've got a clay statue. So at least I've got a turn one play. Oh, man. This is so... Do I have too many lands in my deck? Is that it? Because I'm also drawing so many lands in these games. Oh, God. Okay, Battering Ram, but I can play Clay Statue because I've got the Lonerer. So we're, 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 we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, I take the damage. Okay, I'm so happy that he attacked. Um, I can do and Battering Ram and Onulet. I'm just gonna go like full, full aggro. I think that's all I can do really, um, is to attack. I mean, this is the fifth time I'm beating, I'm battling this guy. Oh, Pestilence. Uh, what should I do? Just gonna attack with that. Let's go. Okay, he's on nine. That's something. I mean, Pestilence is a really good card. I mean, it's, it's really hard to play against Pestilence. At least he's not activating it again. Okay, he is. <laughs> What's... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, so at least I gained some life. I don't know. Oh, man, this is... Attack! I mean, he's on the lower life total, so the Pestilence is not as good. Um, And he's got to regenerate his Drudge. So I, th I just hope that... Just keep regenerating. Please, please, please. Five battles, five battles. Give me a break. Oh, is this really gonna happen? I'm scared, I'm scared that something is still gonna go wrong, but I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, he stepped out and stuff. Ah, I finally, yes, finally, ho ho! Yes, finally! Oh. Finally, I've beaten the Lord of Fates, finally. Oh. Oh, so, sorry neighbors, sorry, I'm here in an apartment in Amsterdam, sorry neighbors. Finally beat, beat the Lord of Fates. I had faith. I knew it was going to... I want to take the cards. Okay, now we've got to go back to the uh, to the village. Where do I got to go? Unicorn Haven. Please, I only have one more day. Please. 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 Oh, good. Oh, any creature. Okay. Why are certain cards in, not in green? Are those the cards that I, no, I don't have those other cards. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a Sheep and Dragon. I think my deck needs a Sheep and Dragon. Yes. Speak to the wise man. I see you have not yet defeated the green wizard in his castle, that's true. What a great observation. Let's, let's save. Go to our deck. Let's put in the, the Sheevan Dragon. Take out the Island of Varrock. Put in the Sheevan. Put in land leeches. Why not? Uh, 40 cards. 
And now I've got to go to this village, which is under attack. Okay. Leave it. Go. Uh, I'm going to pay 40. Thank you. I've got to duel the witch. Okay. At least I defeated that Lord of Faith. Um, do I want to take a mulligan? No, because I've got a lightning bolt, which is a turn one thing. I've got a battering ram, got enough mana. No, no, I don't want to take a mulligan. Ah, oh, jeez. The amount of times I misclick in this game is just hilarious. It used to be a lot worse, by the way. If you haven't seen my uh, season one run, it was a lot worse. Uh, planes. Hmm. I'm, did I say planes? It's a forest. Whatever. Oh, a drudge. Of course. I'm kind of done with all those black decks at the moment. Again, drudges. At least next turn I can do forest going to land leeches. Or onulet. Dropping to 12. <coughs> Oh, another drudge. That's just that's just marvelous. Um, I'm gonna go land leeches. Always liked this art somehow as a kid. I don't know why. It's like a giant tongue, right? Like a giant leech, of course. Mm, unholy strength, of course. Okay, so I can. I think I should play giant spire, of course. Um, Yeah, let's go Giant Spider. That can block the Willow, which is good. I don't have a good attack, though, which is a problem. But I'm just going to wait until I can cast Sheevan. And, you know, when you cast Sheevan, you win the game. That's so, oh, that's the golden rule. I remember when I was a little Tim, if somebody would play like Sheevan, the game was usually over. Um, Wall of Bone. Forest. Let's go Lonor Elves. Is it a carnivorous plan? Carnivorous plan? No, let's go on that. Pass the turn. Should I attack though? Because he's got no. You know what? I'm gonna attack. Let's see what he does. Oh, of course, he's got. I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. He's completely ignoring the wall of bone there, which is a one four. Oh well. Whatever. Next turn, I can cast Shiva. It's gonna be fine. Gonna be fine. Drain life, okay. That's fine, I've got enough mana without that one. Shiva the Dragon, let's go people. And I got Dwarven Warriors also next turn. It can make creatures unblockable. Wow, this is really good. This is good. I think I still wanna make a deck with just, you know, classic Dwarven Warriors, you know, green small creatures, maybe fire breathing, giant groves. And then maybe just play that one Sheevan Dragon as my top hand, something like that. Hmm, one of the things I didn't think about, by the way, with the Sheevan is that Willow has regeneration. Oh, hey, guys, this is, this is gonna be a cool game. I'm gonna play a lot of cool cards. With Gaius Leech, I can turn all his swamps into forests and then he cannot regenerate. That is actually pretty cool. Let's, that's my plan now. So I'm going to turn his swamps into forests, and I'm going to cast my Dwarven Warriors. So I've got two plans. I feel so professional. Of course I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. I've got two plans. Dwarven Warriors. Kind of first plans. Uh, ooh, he stepped out. That is stupid. That is stupid. Here you go, have a dragon. I probably should have, should have, you know, not cast any creatures, put all the red mana into the Shivan, but what is done is done. So the witch is on six. I'm feeling good. Ooh, another mountain. Uh, I'm going to keep that in hand just to be mysterious. Um, let's make the land leeches unblockable. 
and he stepped out again. Does he want to die? She, I should say. Does she want to die? Perhaps it's a witch. Okay, gonna take some extra damage. Uh, I'm just gonna do it main because I just want to make sure that she doesn't have a lot of swamps anymore. Pass the turn. Ooh, the ghoul's getting counters. Be careful. Oh, fireball. I can end it with the fire. I don't want to end it with the fireball, though. I don't want to end it with the fireball. I don't like that. Uh, we're going to go swamp. I guess what I could do. That's also fun. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. Um, I want to do it for two damage. Uh, amount of damage to each target, two. Yeah, two damage on the willow. On the willow. Then she's going to tap it, regenerate it, means it's tapped. Right, and then we're going to win it with the Sheevan. I'm just only going to attack with the Sheevan. Yeah, let's pump it up. Hey, we've got it. Ooh, I love the pyrotechnics. Take the cards. I want the pyrotechnics. Okay, but now we gotta free that village. Ooh. No, the evil white wizard has got it. Ah, oh, man, look at that. I was so close. Karma. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not having good karma this turn. Uh, let's change the card. Um, let's duel. Let's duel. Whatever. Man, that's kind of annoying. I couldn't save that village because now I've lost the mana link as well. That's kind of how it works, right? So, so I really need more mana. I just need better cards, basically, for my deck. I think I'm going to cut the Sylvan. I think Sylvan is really good later if I have more life. But not now. Uh, let's see what I have, by the way. Ice Storm, Sylvan, War Mammoth, Fireball, Yoshin. This is, this is decent. You know, this is a hand I can work with. Yes, I have no turn one, so I'm going to take two, but then after that, I can start pooping. Of course! Of course, more and more enchant pump spells. It's funny, like, for obvious reasons, they're not being played in, in anymore, you know, in your regular old school, but it's a shame, because they're still good. Um, I'm going to go silver. At least it gives me some card selection. Oh, now I forget to activate the Sylvan. Oh God, I'm just the worst. Um, I should play Ocean. The thing is, if I play Ocean Soldier, he's probably gonna attack in a band. Then he's gonna kill my soldier, put that one damage on the Savannah Alliance, and it's not really gonna help me. So I. I think what I need to do is kill the Timberwolves and yeah, pass the turn. I actually should have done that uh, the previous turn instead of playing out the Sylvan. So basically this mistake is going to cost me like three extra life points. I'm going to drop to three. But hopefully, hopefully now I can stabilize. Please, pretty please. Of course, War Mammoth, of course. Let's use the Sylvan. Put back. Okay, so we're going to put back the Gaze Leech. Put back. We're going to put back the Mountain. Doesn't really matter. Um, I think I should play War Mammoth, then at least I, I'm, I'm dead actually. Oh, this is so annoying. So if it wouldn't have made that little glitch, then at least I would have been on six and I would have survived this turn. God, like this. I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay gold, man. I'm just. I got. I need. I need a moment. I will reward you with a blue amulet. I don't need that. Uh, Thirty-nine cards in my deck. Okay. Let's see, is there anything that I can put in? Um, oh yeah, let's put the other Onulet in. The Pyrotechnics is really good, let's put that in. Uh, what should I take out? Probably just my bigger stuff, right? I'm afraid Aladdin's ring has to go. Oh, Sylvan has to go. Let's, Sylvan has to go. 
Um, so I'm back on 40 cards, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll leave it as is. You know what I'll do? Let's just save. I mean, it's about an hour, but I'm gonna do one more thing. I wanna free the village, because it annoys me, and I'm so close. No, not a Lord of Fate. Stay away from me. I'm gonna pay you the gold, man. You've earned it. You're like, you're too good. This place is ruled by the White Wizard. Uh, the White Wizard. Here. You know, I'm gonna just cast a Shivan on you. On your ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this game. Um, let's see. Of course, you start with the creature. What's up with all these guys starting with creatures? My deck's too bad for this. Okay, I've got Ice Storm, Aladdin's Ring, Hill Giant, Onulet, and a bunch of lands. Okay. It's actually not a horrible... A horrible opening end. The amount of times, by the way, that I've drawn into Aladdin's Ring, and I also had it in my opener this episode, is like ridiculous. Should I take it out of my deck? And I know the answer already, but I just, I think it's a cool card, you know? I mean, four damage for 16 mana, what's what's not to love? It's so, it's such a bad card. Can you get an eight? Um, I think I'm gonna cast Onulet to jump. I think I think that's kind of the, 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 the point in the, in the match where I am now. I'm gonna jump and then fireball the war elephant next turn. That's my plan. So hopefully he's not gonna cast another crusade. The Rainbow Knights! How lovely. That's also a problem. Rainbow Knights, he can give it first strike. I think Rainbow Knights is a bigger problem actually. Now. Oh god. Yeah, Rainbow Knights is a bigger problem. Um you know what? I'm gonna go Hill Giant. And I'm just gonna whatever. If he's gonna attack in a band, I'm gonna block on Onulet. If he's gonna attack separate, I'm gonna block the hill giant for the war elephant. Rainbow Knight's hilarious, by the way, because you can at random give him effects, like plus zero, plus zero could be a random effect, which is really fun. Oh, disenchant, of course. Jesus. Um, okay, I can do pyrotechnics, which is really good, because then I can divide the damage. I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, and four. Hey, yes. And next turn, I'm gonna fireball away the elephant. And then it should be fine. Unless, of course, she's gonna have five mana now, so she can cast the Sarah. She's not casting the Sarah. Hey, I can, this is much better. Wow, this is really good. To get rid of a planes because now I, I should say he right it's a knight I'm fighting now he has four planes so can no longer cast a Sarah oh eye for an eye oh man eye for an eye. I love that card I think it's such a cool card <clears throat> we played a double eye for an eye oh that's a I've never seen I've never seen it I've had eye for an eye against me in real life maybe once, twice, if I really dig back deep in my memory. I remember really liking the card as a kid because of the art. You know, it was pretty gruesome art with this badass dude. And I love the idea of someone who cast like a, would attack with like a, like a Shivan dragon actually. I could do the eye for an eye thing or force of nature. But yeah. It's actually pretty cool with Fork now to think about it. Um, what should I do? Maybe just first attack. Let's see what he does. Okay. Oh, now I can fireball for the victory. Um, I'm going to fireball for two. Because if he has an eye for an eye, I don't want to die. Hey, I freed the village. Trade blue amulets for any enchantment. Yeah, I only have one blue amulet. Another Aladdin's ring. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, I got no more food. Anyway, this is uh, this was today's episode. Thank you so much for uh, yeah watching me, you know, suffer. But at the end of the day, I'm happy, man. Episode four, I defeated 
uh, the knight of faith, the faith knight, whatever his name is. Anyway, I defeated him. I'm happy. I made the village happy. That's all that matters. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Before you go, uh, please leave a like if you've enjoyed this content. Uh, this content, that sounds so sad. If you enjoyed what I'm doing, leave a like. It would be appreciated. Uh, write something in the comments. You know, let me know all the play mistakes I made. I'm sure there are plenty again. Um, yeah, and you can of course hit that subscribe button. That all means a lot to me and is completely free to do. Talking about uh, things you can do to support the show, you can also become a member of my Patreon page. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks for all the info. Okay, that's it for now, and uh, let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Zeke!